Hi, I'm Julia Owen. I'm the art teacher here at Hellenic Classical Charter School. And this is my sixth year teaching at Hellenic and I'm really looking forward to the upcoming school year. Um, all art supplies are provided by the school, so you don't need to worry about getting any supplies for art. And if for some reason your child is quarantined, I will post art lessons on their art Google Classroom and they can do all of that work with just a pencil and paper. So don't worry about having any materials uh, for that at home. Um, Pre-K and kindergarten participate in a really great program called Studio in a School. Uh, that is a New York City based program where an exhibiting artist has a residency in our school and that artist comes every week to work with pre-k and kindergarten. Um, usually it's paint, collage, you know, the, the usual art supplies, um, but it's, it's really nice to have that be taught um, by a teaching artist from studio in the school. I will be um, there also, so the kids can also kind of become familiar with me. So then by the time they get to first grade, I have them as their sole art teacher. And so they, they recognize me. Um, but it's a really great program. I love being a part of it. The kids um, really enjoy getting to know the teaching artist as well. Um, so that's just for pre-K and kindergarten. For the rest of the grades, um, you know, we, you, we have a range of materials here that we're gonna use. We'll do watercolor and tempera paint. We have clay, they'll do collage, sculpture. Uh, it's a really nice mix of two-dimensional art and then later in the year working towards three-dimensional art. Um, and as far as grading goes, with the littler ones, you know, it's really just about participation and seeing that they're, you know, trying and learning, which is great. Um, in, the, in the upper elementary grades, you know, starting in around um, grade two, um, Participation is, of course, a part of the grade as well as behavior. Um, that's also a factor in grading. Um, and I, I don't grade based on what an artwork looks like, um, but what I am looking for is what I'm calling artistry, which is basically, I just want to see that the student is really using the materials in the proper way, making choices that make sense for the project, you know, really trying their best. Um, and so it's kind of a mix of participation, behavior, and artistry that goes into the art grade for the older elementary. Um, but I'm really happy to have the students come back to the art room this year. It's great to see them work together, um, bounce ideas off of each other. We have conversations about art all the time, both their own art and the work of you know, known artists. Um, and it's just a really nice opportunity for students to make their own choices and decisions um, and just provides another way for them to express themselves. And so I'm really looking forward to this year. If you have any questions or need any other information, you can email me at jowen at hccs-nys.org. And I'm looking forward to a great year. Thanks. Hi everyone, uh, my name is Mr. Crowley. Uh, this is my fifth year here at HCCS. I teach music for kindergarten all the way through eighth grade. Um, so I know I've got a lot of familiar faces out there. And uh, for those of you I've yet to meet, uh, I'm very excited to have some uh, new students in my classes as well. Um, for third, fourth, and fifth grade, our music curriculum revolves mostly around games. Students learn um, solfege notes as well, that's the do, re, mi notes, and they all learn how to read and count rhythms. They've been uh, doing that since they started, even all the way back to kindergarten. Um, for third grade, uh, students uh, have always learned recorder here, and we've kept that tradition going. Last year, we were playing outside, that way we could have um, all the safety protocols in place. Um, one of the great things about our school is to be able to maintain all these um, traditions we've done in the past. So students will learn a recorder this year. This is a recorder. Uh, we play them outside. We'll uh, send out a, a letter about how that's going to work, um, which will go out in the next couple weeks. We'll play a little bit this fall and we'll play um, in the spring as well when the warmer weather comes and we can be outside. Um, beyond that, I also teach uh, band here at ACCS. 
band program in the past has been from fourth grade to eighth grade. Um, we're looking to kind of get back on track this year. So uh, fifth grade is starting this fall and we're hoping to offer fourth grade band uh, in the spring as well. Um, because of spacing and distancing, uh, we really have to limit the number of classes we're allowed to offer it to, uh, but hopefully we can expand as the year goes on. Um, we're following all the safety protocols, so we're really limited on the number of people in the program um, because of distancing and physical space, but we're gonna do our best to get um, as many people uh, into a chance to, to learn an instrument that are interested. Um, beyond that, uh, fourth and fifth graders will learn uh, xylophones. We have a great set of xylophones here and across the room. Students in those grades will eventually learn to play as an ensemble and we'll work on a, a song as a class as well. So there's just a lot of uh, great music here that all the kids get to do as it builds by grade level to grade level. And um, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. I'd love to hear from you. And uh, it's just great to have everybody back and see you guys later. Good evening, parents and students. Welcome to this year's curriculum night here at HCCS. Uh, we'd like to take this opportunity to welcome everyone back and to welcome uh, any new families that are joining us for the first time. Uh, we'd like to just briefly go over what to expect for this year for uh, the physical education curriculum. Um, our goals, expectations for, for students, and grading policy. Um, essentially, uh, the program uh, seeks to develop um, all student motor skills uh, and movement patterns, so by the time they reach middle school and uh, work with Mr. Adam, uh, they'll be able to uh, competently participate in uh, full traditional sports um, understand the concepts of fitness um, and uh, be able to uh, participate uh, in their community and recreation um, and um, we also aim to develop everyone's ability to cooperate to work as a team develop uh, sportsmanship um, and we do th we do this through specific types of learning experiences here at ACCS um, we move uh, throughout the year we move through the traditional sports um, of volleyball, basketball, soccer. Um, uh, we do all the major uh, motor skills of uh, throwing and catching and concepts of uh, spatial awareness. Uh, we develop all of that so that um, by the time they reach fifth grade um, they have a really good competence uh, in all those areas. Uh, expectations for the class, uh, we simply just break it down to A, B, C, and D. We, uh, we, we go over it at length uh, with the students here in, in the gym. We just want everyone to act safely. Uh, we, we describe what safe acting safely and moving safely within the gym means. We want, uh, we want them to be prepared uh, for, for parents uh, on, on your child's gym day uh, just be aware that uh, they should be wearing sneakers. Uh, they should be wearing uh, something that uh, they're going to be comfortable in. And uh, if they're going to be wearing um, sweatshirts um, or zip-up hoodies, uh, it's always a good idea to wear um, t-shirts um, underneath that because uh, they do get hot. They, they, they do want to um, take off sweatshirts and, and hoodies um, in the later part of the class so they can remain cool. So just be aware of that. And at the end of the day, we just want everybody to do their best um, and really just put forth their, their best effort while they're here. Um, as far as grading, most of the, the grade, three quarters of the grade is essentially participation. Um, so we, we do our best to engage all students and um, usually we, we're really good at that. And, um, uh, the remaining portion of the, the grade is uh, skill assessment. Um, we'll break it down um, as, as the year goes on so you guys w know what to expect. Uh, this year especially, uh, we actually um, are onboarding a new program called Fitness Gram, uh, which will be available um, for parents as well so that they can uh, monitor their student progress. And um, we will send out 
as the as uh, the month and um, the marking period uh, progresses, we'll send out more information so that you um, you know how to log in and and retrieve student information. We, we're going to start uploading the information as soon as we get the program running, which we anticipate will be in approximately one to two weeks, and uh, we'll input um, all the information into the program so you can see um, where your child is on on s multiple levels in terms of fitness. Um, where they're going to be in three months from now and where they're going to be six months from now and and then at the end of the year. Um, so we think that's a great way to, to, to keep everybody um, uh, on the same page with regard to um, progress. I'd also like to take a, a second to um, introduce Mr. James. Mr. James, uh, would you like to add a few words? Yes, hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, we had a great first week of school. Uh, looking to build off that, make it a great uh, school year. Uh, I think uh, Ms. Sotiri mentioned all uh, the key points. Make sure you're prepared, uh, ready to participate, and uh, ready to learn. Uh, looking forward to a great year, and if you have any questions from either me or Ms. Sotiri, feel free to reach out to us. Thank you, guys. That We are available via email. Um, if you have any questions throughout the throughout the year, please don't hesitate to reach out to Mr. James or myself. And um, our our email uh, can be found on the uh, school website. Um, or if you'd like to call, um, just call the school and they can connect you with us as well. If your child has any, uh, health related issues that uh, we need to know about, please reach out and and make sure that we know about it. Again, we'd like to. Um, Welcome everybody back and we look forward to a wonderful year here at HCCS.